Hello everybody, and it's Virtual Truck Driver Daily, time clap 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 clap, how are we all doing today guys, so we are heading for, do 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 do, uh, Kiel, we're heading to Kiel, I've got a trailer on board that I found on a mod box yesterday, well yesterday as I'm recording it, so let's timestamp this, it is 8.55 in the morning on the 15th of April and uh, yeah so I found it on ETS2 mod box yesterday uh, yeah on mod box yesterday and I obviously went and downloaded it so it looked super epic but we are in a race against time today because there's a load from um, Kiel going to Hull and obviously I'm not being planned this this trip so I could do a wangling a load back to Hull to be truthful, so I can go and get a marker. Failing that, I'll have to do um, a drop and run, which means I'll take a trailer tonight. Somebody else will take it over for me. But yeah, so let's crack on. Let's get up to Kiel. Oh, I'll show you the trailer. This is the trailer that I'm on about. I like it, it looks really nice actually. I know there's a few people using it, I don't know if it's hacked or leaked or I don't, I don't know, I did try and ask people but they weren't responding so, you know what I mean there's only so much you can do but yeah, how is everybody today? I hope you are really enjoying this series let me know what you think of the series now because um, uh, I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys because after all you guys do watch it I'll make it, you watch it, everybody's happy. Do you know what I mean? So I'd love to hear some feedback, if that's okay. And up we go. Wee! Up we go. So yeah, I um, really enjoy making this again. Really wish I was in Marco, but um, needs must and all that. So yes, br brunch on Vake. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna crack on, guys. I need to get to Kiel. It is a race against time. Normally I'd stop in this rest of, but uh, I'm gonna try and go straight through on one tank of fuel, hopefully. In fact, actually, let's have a look. Distance 500 k's. 400. So I've got should do this in one tank. Let's just leave that up just to make sure. But uh, yeah guys, so hopefully by the time you're watching this, I have my new phone. Well, I've just time stamped it and I um, hopefully, hopefully, I get it tomorrow, which is the 16th. I'd really like that to happen. Because um, my phone now has, I got my phone 6, I've had it for, I got it on, I got the iPhone 6 on day of release. So we're talking, what, two and a bit years ago? Uh, I've looked after it, it's the first one I've actually looked after I haven't broken it, I haven't dropped well, I've dropped it several times but I've gone through many cases I've gone through many of them Gorilla Protective screens as well the, gor the gor Gorilla, is it Gorilla Gas? Glass? or something? Um, yeah, I got that, I, I've already got it all sorted for my new phone I've already bought it just because uh, I, I want to you know, I just want to keep my my stuff, you know, in good nick like I've spent a lot of money on my computer PC setup, so I'm gonna, I want to get that on the ass insurance is what I want to do. Um, obviously my phone, I've got insurance for that. Pay 12 quid a month for that. Ooh. I pay 12 quid a month for that. Sorry about this, guys. My thing's just falling off. Come on, in you go. Nope, it's not happening. So I'm trying to control it with my hand at the minute. I feel s in. Are you in? Yes. Sorted. Sorry about that, guys. I've got um, magnetic. I've got magnetic things on the um, Astro headset, like the um, magnetic covers, and every so often, if I move a certain way, it all falls off. That's why I use Velcro because I can stick it in different places. <laughs> it's like I've got about six different locations on the headset all with Velcro on it. Just so I can take it off and 
put it somewhere else. Car mate, don't slow up too much, I'm in a rush. German rules are really bad for trucks overtaking as it is, don't make it any worse. Go straight, go straight, go straight. No. Come on, up we go. I wasn't going to overtake it, might as well move into block the lane so you could pull out. Oh, I so can't wait for 10 o'clock in Germany so you can overtake. Come on. Ah, oh, I can't overtake. Ah! Nein! Nein! That's no in German, by the way. But I can overtake. Because I'm carrying on, I'm not getting off the motorway. Bye bye, Mr. Oh, the hell did you say that? Prinfico. Bye, in your crappy little Iveco. Even the Renaults are better than the Ivecos. Ooh, shots fired. Actually, that's one thing you don't see. You don't see the Iveco Highway a lot in the mod box. You know, you've all got Scania's, Mercs, you know, um, a few of us have got Renaults, Dafts, Volvos, a lot. I see a lot of Volvos, uh, a lot of Dafts as well. And um, one thing you don't see is Iveco Highways. Well, hardly. You get the odd photo. But it's like I said, that that's a glorified lunchbox. It looks nice on the outside, but when you get inside, it's all crap and healthy. Feel what I mean? You got healthy food inside of a lunchbox. I can overtake. Yay! This stretch can overtake. So, any guys want to hold me up, I'm going to overtake you. Look at the night now, it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm still win. I, la, 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 la. I'm still running the winter uh, mod, guys. I'm going to swap that out and I'll get to Marco. Uh, I'll swap that out, but uh, I'll probably put the summer one in. No, spring, what was it, April, April, May, June, July, August. No, I'll put the summer one in. You know, preemptive and all that, like getting my hopes up. Because I'm English and we've got crap weather. Come on, hopefully, come on. I need to get to Kiel. Just check in on the job front, actually. I don't normally show you guys this, but uh, yeah, we're in a rush. Oh, come up to Hamburg. I love coming to Hamburg. Oh, come on. I'm. Oh no. Did I say I've lost it? No, I went. Was it Pad? Was it Padbog? I think it was. No, don't tell me I've lost it already. It's a double trailer. The load I wanted was a double trailer. There it is. One hour and 23 minutes. We've got... Not that. So I won't be getting that load. Ah, no! Let's have a look. Nah, I'm going to be nowhere near getting that load. Ah, oh, that's not nice. Yeah, I'll just do a drop and run. I think. Drop and swap. I think. It's the only way we're going to have to do this. So this is what I like about the planning, because they can plan you back home. Ah, that sucks, that does. Yeah, I'll have to do a drop and run, I think. Ah, it's proper annoyed me. That actually really has annoyed me quite a lot, not going to lie. So we're coming up to the beautiful city of Hamburg. As you can see there, we're on the outskirts now. 
Uh, I've never been through here in the dark before, so it's going to be a fun experience. How do you know you're coming to Hamburg because you get FPS drop? I've got 70, 81 FPS. If you look in the top left, guys, uh, the little green thing you can see moving all the time. That is my FPS rating. So what are we at now? Right. We're at a stable 90, I'll say. Uh, 70, sorry. That's not bad. Wish there was nobody else on the road to flick the main beams on. See if they actually do work. Yeah, they do, don't they? Look at that. Dark. Light. Dark. Light. Dark. Light. Dark. Light. <laughs> That's insane. Absolutely insane, mate. Insane. We're going to call this episode that is insane. Dot dot dot, mate. Dot dot, mate. That's what I want to do. Yeah, I've got the time going now. I watched Simpsons yesterday. That's hilarious. There's the one about Wayne and the ex special forces and he, he he wrote a song about a North Korean leader and it was hilarious. Ah, sod it. Oh no, am I going to kill I am I? Yeah. I just followed the signs for kill. Don't bother me. Always say thank you. I've always got to be polite. No, manners don't cost anything. Yeah, uh, that's flat. Ah, uh, that coke's flat. Uh, uh. That's not what that sign said. Oh, it is. I've gone down the wrong one. Yeah, I've well. got the wrong one. Hello. Wee. Dum 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 Surprising, I'm surprised there's a Volkspark Stadion in on the game, home of Hamburg. No, no, the Allianz is on. Hmm, just weird in it really, to be truthful. Woo, we pulled out on that car, look at that. Bang. Look at that, that was always going to happen, that was always going to happen. Jesus. That was insane. Wow, that's... Wow. Um, just wow. See guys, that's what happens, you know, when you're going too quick on a motorway can't stop in time you know all these cars can do this all fancy I'll break for you car. you know the car where the car decides it's gonna break for you um, you gotta remember that other cars haven't got that and they can't react as quick as what that does and then you get smacked up the bum because remember watching this video once this lorry his act his brakes you know braked for him because uh, this car was messing about in the inside lane so uh, and she was messing about that badly that the truck had to end up coming to a full stop so from going from 55 mile an hour to zero in, you know, millisecond. This car behind him couldn't brake quick enough and he swerved to miss the back of the trailer. Spun out of control along the side of the, the you know, that side of the lorry and absolutely smacked the woman that caused the lorry to brake. 
you know, if you get what I mean. Absolutely, that video is insane. I'll try and find it. If I find it, I'll link it. If I can't, obviously, I won't link it. But. You know, I'm, I'm all for having this technology on the road and all that, but when it gets to the point that people are getting hurt because the technology is too advanced, it'd be alright if every car had it, but every car hasn't got it. I ain't got a problem with, you know, all this automated braking malarkey. But, you know what I mean? Other people can't react to it as quick as what the computer can. A little bit of engine break there. You know, sometimes you just got to think about things. Come on. Uh, thank you, Mr. Motorbike. Like I said, we've all, we've, we're, we're getting technologically advanced now. Do you know what I mean? Like, I can ask Siri what the weather is outside. I haven't looked outside because ever since I got up I've, you know, been, say, recording and editing. I haven't been outside yet, but yeah, I can ask her, you know, what's the weather like outside? I would, but, but yeah, I'm just busy trying to concentrate on driving. I've done it again so I can't see the lights. Yeah, it's getting pathetic. Alright, so it's empty, so I'm going to try and do this quick time. Okay, so no. All right. So we're just a little bit away from going home. Got to see what loads there are now. Do 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 bum, 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 bum. Ready and break and backwards And there we go Hazards off pack brake on engine off on low beam Trailer button. Yay! That's another load done. We are getting good at this, aren't we? So, we left uh, Magdeburg, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Magdeburg to Kiel. It was 295 kilometres. Excuse me, friend, try to get. Ugh. In game trip time of four hours and one minute. I'm going to kind of tinkle for it. Um, that was twenty tons. So, thank you to everybody for watching today's episode. Thank you to everybody for the love and the support, especially Pro Mods, Night Haulage, and DDS Haulage. Just want to give a big shout out to iPro Magic's uh, Road to a Million Mile series uh, every day. Every day. Um, every day. Six o'clock, like me. Um, so, if you want to watch Night Haulage from another driver's perspective, then please watch. Road to a million miles. Thank you, everybody, and I will see you all again tomorrow for another virtual truck driver daily. Take care, guys.